let's start with your reading Sagittarius today we are going to look into your current situation we're going to look into your energy your person's energy or external energy and then we're going to take a look at what's coming towards you next that you might not know about yet now let's start with your first message okay you got a new moon in scorpio and your first message today is work through your fears obviously looking at this new moon in scorpio we see that there is a new beginning for you here something that is coming your way which potentially for some of you already has and that really can determine a new beginning now i see an issue i see that you are finding it hard to forgive someone or finding it hard to believe in love again or believe in whatever this energy is going to be. It feels as though you're not allowing yourself to explore something that can be very emotional for you, whether this is something new or something old, and mainly because you have been wounded by past events that created these new fears that now you have. And you're not wanting to put yourself through that again. You know, it's definitely hard to rebuild trust after being hurt by someone who you once trusted. You just seem to be disinterested in love or whatever this is. But what you might not know is that you are on the cusp of a transformation with this new moon. So let's see what this is about, Sagittarius. And let's start with your reading. Wow. Wow. <laughs> These are very important energies. We have the lovers, the tower, the devil reversed and the sun. You know, regardless of what we are going to look into over here, we see that the main energy is talking about something that it's going to make you happy. It's as if right now you are in one of those win-win situations, you know? This is just the time for you to understand what you need to work through and then finally get to the other side of the situation where, as you see right here, you have a lot of happiness and potentially you have everything that you didn't have up to this point. Beautiful, beautiful main energy. Now, as far as the main situation goes, we have the two of wands. Right here, clearly there is something that, again, it's either about to come your way or it already has for some of you, but something that is putting you out of your comfort zone, taking you out of your comfort zone. This is a decision that you need to make, and this decision will definitely impact the next few months at least. Right here, there is something that you plan for at some point that maybe did not work out, not in the past, but that right now instead might be showing promise once again. This person right here really seems to me as someone who is saying, I have, I really have a million reasons why not to do this, but something is making me think about it. My heart, my passion is saying otherwise. Why is that? We'll see what else you should know about the situation uh, as soon as we clarify. As far as you go, your energy is the three of cups. And right here, I just see you not wanting to focus on anything negative, Sagittarius. You clearly are coming out of something. You're processing something. And you feel that right now the best thing that you can do is forgetting about the negatives of the situation. Because... You're afraid that they're going to take you back to a mindset, a mind state that it's very hard to come out of. But also right here, we see with the Three of Cups, some sort of reunion, a reunion you might be thinking about, hoping for, or a reunion that has happened and that right now is making you question a lot of things. On the other side, your person's energy or external energy, the tower, you clearly have something unexpected here, something that will change your beliefs 
around the situation. You thought that maybe this person has disappeared or this person didn't care. You thought this person just was never going to show up again. And yet here they are with this tower energy information coming towards you that is going to make you see exactly what is about to come up next. We'll clarify. As far as your challenge, very interesting cards you have in your challenge position, the lovers. This is you understanding two things or having to understand two things. The first one could be that the person who is about to show up for you is your soulmate, is the one who really matches you in so many ways. But also with the lovers, we have a different message, a message that, message that talks about making good choices, making choices based on what's important to you and not always sacrificing yourself and the things that matter to you in order to make someone else's happy. And so right here, we have a message to clarify because this challenge seems to be key in order for you to get to the sun energy, okay? Now, coming towards you and you don't know it, that that will reverse. This is a great energy to have because it's clearly showing us that you're about to break free from a cycle of events and energies that really blocked your growth and your path towards the sun energy. Right here, this is going to be the moment of truth, the moment in which you're going to let go of everything and everyone who just do not deserve you. And you're going to make room for something much, much better. So let's start clarifying Sagittarius and let's begin with the two of ones. The moon, the ten of swords and the eight of swords with this five of wands over here. You know, it's clear that in the past, this situation has really brought a lot of sadness to you. And at times you really felt as though you have hit your rock bottom. And that's clearly a hard place to bounce back from. But what I see is that what really hurt you, at least back then, was not even what happened. It was what happened after this breakup. This person did things that you were not expecting. Although they might have been at fault, they were the ones who walked away or the ones who cut you out, taking things from you, blaming you for things that they were to blame for. Right here, clearly with the devil, we see that this might have been someone toxic for you. And when a toxic person can no longer control you, they will control what you need or they will control the way people see you. And that is what brought a lot of pain, at least in the past. All you need to do, though, is work away in order to stay above it all. That's the only thing you can do. You cannot expect to talk sense into someone like this. And if you expect that to happen, Sagittarius, then you're just wasting your time and setting yourself up for failure. OK, but let's see what's going on in the present with this three of cups, this tower energy. Let's clarify these two cards. Oh my God, way too many cards. Okay. <laughs> Ace of Swords with the Emperor, Six of Wands with the Queen of Wands. Clearly someone here is sending a message, is reaching out and is showing up in your life once again. You know, this person comes in with a lot of passion and in a way they're putting up a performance for you. They might not directly come to you, but what they're doing is for you to see Sagittarius. Now on your end, I love to see this energy because honestly, you are not the type of person who maybe you have been in the past, the type of person who would immediately look into this incoming energy, the type of person who would immediately buy what this person is doing or trying to sell. Right here, you are staying above it all and something has changed within you because you're just tired of feeling the victim of other people's poor choices or other people's mind games. Right now, you're realizing that you're much more than that. 
and you do not want for these people to define who you are or overall change your trajectory in life, change your journey anymore. There is something very powerful that is happening here within you, which couldn't happen back then because you needed to learn your lesson. You needed to see what you eventually saw. And we see that this incoming energy does not have the same impact on you that it might have had in the past. But what is that lovers up there? Let's clarify that energy. Two of swords, six of cups with the eight of wands. Once again, messages coming in. This is going to be really the main thing for the next few weeks. These notifications will not just show up once. It's something that will show up consistently for a couple days at least. Obviously, with the six of cups, this is bringing up a lot of memories, a lot of things that maybe you've even forgotten about and things that back then made you feel safe, made you feel happy, happy of that happiness that you're still looking for right now. And that, by the way, is coming your way. But with the two of swords, you're wondering, is this my way towards my path towards that sun? Or is this the moment in which I have to completely let go of all of this and really feel independent, really understand that I don't need this person to be happy. I don't need this to be happy. Actually, I need to stay away from this in order to be happy. And so we see that that lover's card really talks about a choice, especially with the two of swords coming up. This is the moment to make the right choice. You are potentially finding yourself at the same crossroad you found yourself in the past with this person. And back then, you might have made the wrong choice. Right now, instead, it's time to make the right choice, Sagittarius. Let's see what that is going to be about. And let's clarify the devil reversed. Oof. Cards really want to talk to you. Four of Swords, the World, the Six of Cup, uh, Six of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. Absolutely. This is your time to choose yourself. This is your time to prioritize yourself and to show this person that they don't have any control over you anymore. There will be some mind games played over here. And what will surprise you the most is going to be your own reaction to this. I am so happy for you because I clearly see here a turning point in your mindset, in your state of mind. You're understanding that negative things in life are as permanent as you allow them to be. And right now you're not allowing this to stick around anymore. You're understanding that you have everything you need, everything you want, and that if someone is not giving to you the same love that you're giving to them, then it's best to be alone. It's better to really sit in a room by yourself other than sitting in that room right next to someone who claims to love you, but who instead is making you feel so lost, so lonely. So right here, there is something absolutely beautiful happening inside of you. And I can already tell you that this is going to be an energy that will reverberate all around you in your world and will change things around in a way that maybe right now you're not even expecting. This, I know it's the end of the reading, but this is just the beginning of this journey, the beginning of a new chapter, which will clearly bring a lot of passion and unexpected events towards you, starting from this person's reaction to all of this. So let's keep looking into this incoming energy. Let's see what this person is going to do, what their, their reaction is going to be. But then let's just focus on your journey from this moment forward. Where is this new choice going to take you towards in the next few months? Who are you going to be a year from now? Where are you going to be a year from now? Let's look into the evolution of this journey to understand what you should expect from now on. But also, let's take a look into what else is coming your way in the next few months that you should absolutely know about today, Sagittarius. If you want to dive deeper into the messages with me, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free 
personal live 45 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning. Make sure to check out your spam folder as well, please. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Sagittarius. The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the incoming events is temperance. And right here, the first thing that we see is someone who is re-examining their priorities. And this person, first of all, is this one that is coming back into your life. Right here, we see someone who potentially understands that they have messed up that they haven't prioritized you enough in the past. And right now they might want to fix things. They might want to do things right this time around. But what they don't know is that you are doing the same thing this time. And with temperance, you're also re-examining your priorities. You are really trying to not make any rush decision, understanding that happiness is something that cannot be postponed anymore, something that can be gambled for someone who up to this point has given you a lot of reasons why not to trust them, why not to risk things for them. I do believe that this person is going to do one more thing that potentially is going to challenge your current decision to detach from them, to reverse this devil energy. There is one more thing that this person is going to do, which potentially is exactly what you wanted to see in the past, trying to keep you close to them, try to do everything they can before they completely lose you. But chances are that they have already lost you from what I see right here. So let's see what this is going to be. Let's see what this temperance energy is triggered by. Why do you feel that right now something has happened and you cannot immediately make a decision? This is an event, potentially the event that we were looking at right here with the Knight of Wands. So let's see what you have coming up next. Wow. The Sun with the Eight of Wands, but this Five of Wands and obviously the five of pentacles as well down here. This, I was not expecting this, but um, some of you, I believe, have gone through this with this person before. So there is an element of surprise, but at the same time, most of you are, are telling themselves, I have been here before, and this time I should know better. Right here, we're seeing someone.